Peace of the 12, real quick video, man, real quick video. I call it the rope of God, all right, the rope of God, meaning what? The day of our demises is already is already written, so ain't no point in really worrying about it, man. Job chapter 14, man that is born of a woman is of a few days and full of trouble. He cometh forth like a flower and is cut down. He fleeth also as a shadow and continueth not. And dost thou open thine eyes upon such an one and bringest me into judgment with thee? Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. Now check this out. It's the point. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. All right. So the day that we give up the ghost is already written. All right. So. And, uh, you know, and once again, that's a cut on free will in of itself. I've done many videos on that in the past. I think I did a video called Life is Scripted. I did another video titled um, The Lie of Free Will. And just a quick way to debunk free will, right? If free will is right, then just don't die. All right. Just don't ever die. All right. See, I mean, you see how crazy that is? Clearly, the most high can kill you whenever you want to do it, man. All right. He can take your life. Now, of course, the scriptures say that some, some will not see death. You know, but that's dealing that's dealing with the uh, second coming of Yahweh Shai. But if we are to die on this side, hey man, it was already it was already in the hands of the Lord. Our days are already determined, and the number of months that we have is already there, man. All right. Uh, Job, and there's some uh, follow up scriptures for this dealing with days. Job fourteen and fourteen. Um, actually, not nah, Job seven. Is there not an appointed time to man upon the earth? So there's an appointed time to man upon the earth. Are not his days also like the days of an hireling? Job 12 and 10. In whose hand is the soul of every living thing and the breath of all mankind? So the hand of every soul, or, or so the soul falls into the hand of the most high God. Man. All right. So once again, our, our days are already written, brothers. Psalms 39 and 4, Lord, make me to know mine end and the measure of my days, what it is, that I may know how frail I am. So it was a prayer asking the Lord, you know, let me know how long I have till, till my end, to my demise. All right. And the measure of my days so I can know how, uh, when I'm going to expire, basically, you know. And someone can say, what's the point of dealing with this? This is solemn. This is group. Well, a lot of people live in fear. Uh, of what's to come people have fear of jacob's trouble people have fear of multiple things but in the end the hand of your life is in the hands of an omnipotent force your life is already written out your life is scripted all right your life uh whatever happens to you was going to happen regardless man so you shouldn't dwell on that man all right you should just be thankful and thank the most high that you got to see another day continue to do this work man all right, that's that's the whole point, man. First Kings twenty and thirty six, and just, this is another proof that free will ain't no isn't damn real, man. All right, this is a prophet telling somebody how he was gonna die, and he died that same way. He he didn't get the chance to say, "Well, I don't want to die by a lion." No, that's not how it worked. First Kings twenty and thirty six. So the prophet said, "Because ye have not obeyed the Lord, as soon as you leave me, a lion will kill you." And after the man went away, a lion found him and killed him, just like that. Prophet said a lion was gonna kill him, and that lion killed him, man. All right, he couldn't. He couldn't say, "Oh, I'm not going out like that." He couldn't do nothing, man. Why? Because First Samuel two and six. The Lord killeth to make it alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. All right. So the Lord kills and he makes alive, and he lets live. That's that's it, man. All right. That's not too long. Just wanted to throw that out there. Once again, I titled this what the rope of God. All right. So I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. In the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. I want to say Shalom, which means peace to you people listening and learning, to you people that are doing this work of truth and sincerity, and to you elders that's been doing this thing before me. Hopefully this was an alleviating lesson to let you know, man. And don't be don't be fret uh fretting on what's going to happen or what's to come. Alright? Because the script of your life is already written. Peace.